Hi, it is Ayikam time again. So for past few days, I have uh, many questions come from email and messengers from around the world, Europe, uh, US, asking me on the snake body and the force flow, or snake engine and the force flow. And uh, also they asked me, so you know, is there any difference between the uh, force flow of Tai G or other internal art uh, or the snake body is just uh, loose, those kind of stuff. And today I am going to share with you, and please take this like a lecture, I like to clear, clarify all everything out from here because I start the term snake engine. I start the term force flow. And then later on, uh, they are my ex student, they are somebody all using this term. However, a lot of time, what they mean is not what I mean. Since I'm the guy who coined those terms, so I want to make this clear once for all. Okay? Number one, when we look at a force type or a, a power type of an art, we need to know the art. If we do not know the art, we got a problem here. There's a reason why Wing Chun force flow is not the Jing of Tai Chi. It cannot be. Okay? And let me explain you why. The first thing, when you look at a martial art, any type of martial art, you look at the momentum characteristics. You look at the power type they are using to support the momentum characteristic. You look at the mechanics which is supporting the power type. And then you look at the body conditioning which is supporting the mechanics, power type, and their momentum. You can go look at, say for example, Western Boxing, BJJ, Choi Lei Fat, all different because they are a style and they have their uniqueness. Okay? That has to be very clear. So, Anybody who study a martial art, the first thing they need to know is this four thing. If they do not know this four thing, that means they don't have a clear grasp of what is the art they are studying. Okay, with today's scientific and systematic way of describing or engineering way of describing, this can be described this clear. Okay. Now. I'm not going to talk about other arts because I don't know other arts. However, I'm going to talk about Wing Chun. Okay? Now, Wing Chun, since it was created, it is a sticking body short strike. And it is based on General Chi Chi Guang short strike art. Okay? So this is the documented formal Chinese martial art type, short strike. Okay, so the short strike momentum type is fighting in this range. As this is described really closely, the momentum type is long coming, short strike, uh, short receive, move in. Long coming, short receive, move in. Okay? Close in. Okay? That is the momentum of the short strike. So, that is the momentum. So, they fought real differently with the long fist. Okay? As you can uh, watch my audio video, the comparison between long fist and short strike. Now, in order to be able to get close in, 
to do the jamming, the, the strike, the throwing, all those kind of stuff. One need a special, unique type of power type. And that is the implode, implode type of power type. Implode. The reason it cannot be explode type is because if you explode type, you're going to push the other opponent away. You cannot close in. You cannot receive and close in. Thus, you cannot implement long coming, short receive, close in. If your, your power type is the pushing outward type or explode type or expand your body to generate power or handle power type. That is how it is. This is the law of physics. So the first, the short strike is according to General Chi Chi Guang. It's a Chinese tradition, Chinese cultures, martial arts, the Chinese uh, way of uh, formal uh, categorizations. Okay? The second thing is one need this power type, this input type power type, because this is physics. One cannot just go pushing and, and, and thinking one will, will get it. Okay? This is how clear it is. You need to fit the law of physics. The third thing is this. In the input power type, one, one get into this close. Sticking body, short strike range. One need three mechanics. Mechanics, three mechanics. In order to realize or implement the momentum and the power type. And number one mechanics is the mechanical advantage in the lever system where you pull in, you retract. Okay, the second is the torque. The third is actually within this two things is the handle of action and reaction force. Because Newton law said whenever what I'm doing, there's an action and reaction force. Okay? Now, one can ignore this action reaction force. Just plainly pushing or doing those kind of stuff, okay? Or, or any kinds of stuff, pushing and bracing, okay, or pressing. However, it is very particular in this Wing Chun mechanics that it is receiving or retract the, uh, the, 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 the arm or using the mechanical advantage and tour and in the same time, within this mechanic, it has a uh, level down or level deeper or level or advanced uh, uh, mechanics which is it is tracking and using the action and reaction force while it is doing retract torque or both in the same time or individually okay now because it is a input type of power type it is using it is using okay it is specially in using the reaction force it meaning that it receives other people's force and then it play with the channeling of the reaction force or accelerations and so forth but it is a reaction force type of mechanics Okay, so import type also can be can be said as the reaction force type. Let me explain you the action reaction force type clearly. If people just pushing this way, what they can is their muscle generate an action force pushing outward. Or if I just resist somebody, bracing somebody, I am just care about my action force so that I generate enough action force to resist other people. The reaction force type is not that. The reaction force is taking others action force and then use that to ge uh, use that generations of reaction force because action force come to the body, you always have the reaction force out. You play with that. 
while the guy who use action force or explode type in general they're just pushing up they don't care for the reaction force okay they ignore those things okay now so the wing chun force pull the wing chun force pull because this force is like flowing water that's why i call it force pull is actually defined with the mechanical advantage, the tool, and the play of action reaction force. Tai Chi do not have this. Okay? Why? Because when we get this close, we need to tour and our center axis, our wing tuner center axis has to be balanced. As in Chinese, it's called Zi Wu Zhong Zhen. The center is balanced. Okay? So, the Wing Chun force flow is actually clearly defined. It is using the retract or the mechanical advantage. You can check this in mechanics, physics, okay? Uh, a textbook. And the tool, while inside that, dealing with the action reaction force, okay? And the body, the center axis of gravity, the vertical axis of gravity, has to be balanced. That's why they can turn, rotate in this close area. That is Wing Chun uniqueness. Okay, so I want to make it really clear for you today. Now, for the so-called snake engine, is a body which is conditioned be able to do this mechanics, this retract mechanics, and a balanced tour here. That is the so-called snake body, snake engine I define, or later I don't even want to use that because it's become a term which is everybody like in the in the marketing me too I have it. I'm using calling that is a seven ball handling. Okay. Everybody can say, oh, I have a loose body. <coughs> the Tai Chi people have loose body too. But the way how they handle the seven balls is different from Wing Chun. Wing Chun need to have this mechanical advantage and tour at this close range. And remember, on the other YouTube, I mentioned the lower four balls as a weapon when it's this close range and it's a walking range all has to satisfy that so this force flow has to satisfy that and thus this force flow is never tai chi particularly like yang tai chi type of force flow or jing i, I don't want to use force flow because force flow is i coined for the wing chun okay or jing in Tai Chi, I call it Jing. It's different than those Tai Chi Jing. Okay? And again, I'm not putting down anybody. I just differentiate in a scientific way that Wing Chun, Force Law, having this mechanics of mechanical advantage where it's retract to have the mechanical advantage in handling force and the tour, and within the tour, there's action and reaction force play. With the characteristic physical, you can see that the body, the center, uh, the, 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 the center axis or the, the, the vertical axis or center gravity in a professional term, it has to be balanced. Or in Chinese, it's called zi wu zhong zhen. The center has to be balanced. Okay? So that is Wing Chun force flow. Now, I do not want to own this thing. This is this force flow with the with the mechanic advantage and the tour and the play uh, the action reaction force is belongs to Wing Chun ancestor. I have no right to own it, and I do not think it is good that for other people to distort this because I am the Wing Chuner. Every Wing Chuner have a responsibility and duty 
to protect what Wing Chun's arts is. Okay? So here on, anybody want to talk about Wing Chun Force Flow, the Force Flow of Wing Chun? It has to be in the retract mechanical advantage for the axis is balanced and it is playing with action reaction force without ignoring the reaction force. Okay? Because only this way you can fit into the Wing Chun speaking body, short strike, momentum, and the implode type of power. Because this is a whole piece. It is not something you, you, you mix and match here, mix and match there, call internal, mind, or whatever. No, it is this. And the body, the return body, snake body, snake engine is only about the handling of the dynamic handling of the seven bowls in the way which can support the Wing Chun momentum, Wing Chun power type, and Wing Chun mechanics, and Wing Chun techniques at this close range. Okay, so it has to be this clear. In the past, we might not be able to describe this thing this clear, but today I describe to you without using my own opinion. Short strike art is Chi Chi Guang. You need to have the input type of power is because it is physics. Otherwise, you cannot close it. And when you do the input type, you need to use the mechanical advantage of the lever system, the core, and play with the action reaction force within it. And the center axis has to be balanced. Okay, so that is how it defined and the body has to be conditioned to be able to support this and implement this. So I hope that is clear and that's why the body has a signature. The guy who do such strike when they move in, you see their core will be balanced because they want to have a torque over here. The capability of the torque while they are playing action reaction force. You can see people who use Tai Chi or other art, their body go this way. Okay? That cannot be Wing Chun Force Flow because Wing Chun Force Flow has to be here. That is this wooden dummy actually show us. Okay? It's a reference that we need to be here doing this stuff, okay? It's not this. Because Wing Chun is close in. Receive and close in. Okay? Now, Qi Sao pushing is also not that. False law, why? You can look at anybody in YouTube. When they Qi Sao, if they go move in, with the spin, like capable to twirl, that is the Wing Chun Force Flow. But if they move in this way, with the with the uh, with the elbow blade, the shoulder blade pops out, or using shoulder power, that is only playing with the action force, no twirl capability. Okay, that is not Wing Chun Force Flow I'm talking about. And that is not whatever the ancestor mean. Okay? That's what I described. Also, you see that people when they inject, they use their body. That is not Wing Chun force ball type. Wing Chun force ball type is from here. The body doesn't go like this. Why? Because if my body go like that, I lose my toe. When I lose my toe, I can be trouble. Wing Chun, when it get in, close body, short strike, the body move, the, the leg, the body, the arm, move in, vertically. It's not like this, it's not like this, it's not going this first and then come back. That's why it is Wing Chun is not Tai Chi, okay? Wing Chun, force wall is not Tai Chi Jing, period. 
Otherwise, you cannot implement Wing Chun short strike in a real fight. So, I hope this is making things really clearly. Okay. Again. I respect everybody's freedom to do whatever, to say whatever, to open their school, call, uh, their school, call their own Wing Chun, whatever. That's not my issue. However, whatever the term I coined, I make it clear here. Whatever belongs to the Wing Chun ancestor, nobody should touch it. And we all 4 million Wing Chuners should protect that. Because that is belongs to everybody, that belongs to the ancestor, and that belongs to the next generations. Nobody have right to to, uh, to to screw them up. Sure, people, if they are good, they can open a school, make a lot of money out of it. For example, if you go to Harvard, you have to pay a lot of money for the tuition fee. That's fine, because they teach quality. Educations, they teach very high quality, high standard educations, okay? It is not about like buy and sell. I can put different things or throw in different things and I call this today, I call that today and it end up screw the whole wing shot up. That is not true, okay? That's not right. So for me, don't get me wrong, anybody can go out making any money they want if they can provide the service, they can help other people to learn Wing Chun better, uh, more effective, efficient. That's fine. However, to screw up things, that is not fine. That is not okay. Okay? So today I clear this all with you guys. Just go to a YouTube, you look at that. You pay attention to their shoulder. If their shoulder move out, using their shoulder to push, you know they are not using the action-reaction force. They use only the action force. You know this kind of stuff is actually a uh, explore type. You have to watch out for their axis, the center axis, okay? And their body, when they, 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 they use force, it must not be like this. It must not blaze my body. Okay? And when they cho do chi sao, it will be like, if you saw the, uh, the picture of Yip Man, it's like this. It's not like this. Okay? The, the photo of Yip Man uh, with Bruce Lee. So, everybody have a signature. Whatever you train have a signature. I cannot train Wing Chun and pretend I'm a, a, a Tai Chi guy. I'm not. Because my body, my physical body is conditioned that way. I'm a Wing Chun guy. Okay? So if the, a, a, a Tai Chi guy, they cannot also say that they are Wing Chun guy because their body signature show it. And when they use the techniques, it is a different story. Over here, like it or not, you need to use a lot of tool, handling of action reaction force tool. With this kind of stuff, there's no chance to get in. So, and also no chance to get this lower part of the technology, which is, I suggest everybody re-evoke it from the ancient time. So this is for you today.